trick-or-treaters, depending on what you've got to say. Yeah, there's a lot of events today, too. So the kids most likely are going to be outside and maybe even the adults because, you know, we're always kid at heart. I'm with you. I don't hate. I'm going to be with you. And Alex, welcome back to all the fun, the goodness and the wonderful conditions in the way of our temperatures. Nice and mild, mid to upper 70s, get you out the door. Winds whipping, moving in anywhere between 17, 7 to even 21 miles per hour, but gusting well into the 20s again in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Homestead, and even a marathon, 31 mile per hour wind gusts. So just like the past previous days, we could see a speedy shower off the breeze. I'm looking at some showers right now by the keys, but into the afternoon hours and really by tonight, yes, my in-house model does pull a few showers speeding through parts of Broward County around eight, nine o'clock tonight. Yes, for trick or treating. So we'll have some spooky sprinkles is what I'll call it. Here is your trick or treating forecast and your Halloween forecast. Eight o'clock, 76 degrees, just some creepy clouds. And then we get into the afternoon hours with those witching winds and some spooky sprinkles. Those sprinkles again, I was just mentioning move through parts of Broward County this morning. There's one about to push on shore right by Aventura and by the Keys. Let's go to the tropics. So the area we're watching the Caribbean has a 50% chance of development. Again, development not expected until probably early next week. Regardless, that slow development will be something that we're watching. We still have the ridge of high pressure keeping a lot of this moisture well to the south. More on that Halloween forecast. I've got it coming up.